Today I'm in Blackpool, one of the most popular seaside towns in the UK. But what is it like out of season in the winter like it is now? Is it still busy? Do people still come? Let's go check out some of the main attractions, walk along on the promenade, have some fish and chips and see what this place is like. So the tide comes in pretty quick in Blackpool. A few moments ago I was out on the beach, but not anymore. But I think the plan today is to walk out onto the North Pier, which is that one just there. I'm not sure if it's open, but we'll walk out if it is. Go along the promenade, have a look at some of the amusements, and then we'll check out the main event, the Blackpool Tower. And I think there's something interesting happening just in front of it too, so we'll have a look there. Go to the Central Pier, and then just behind it to the South Pier as well. It doesn't look like I'll be checking out the North Pier today. I think it's closed. I hope the other piers are not closed, but I have a sneaky suspicion that they might be. Let's walk over and see. I'm gonna let you in on a little bit of a secret. I got caught out by the tide a little bit early on, so my trousers are soaked. I'm just making my way down on the promenade towards the Blackpool Tower and I've just spotted a really cool tram it's got decorations all down the side of it how cool does that look? there's the wedding chapel building here does anybody actually get married in this building? from this angle it actually looks pretty spectacular Check that out. Just walking along the main section of the promenade and coming up onto the Blackpool Tower. And there seems to be some interesting structures just a little bit further up. Let's go check them out. So these are the structures that I saw in the distance. They're sort of a purpley pink colour. Not totally sure what they are. But if you know, comment down below. I think these could be left over from the Christmas markets that were here maybe a month ago. So here is the famous Blackpool Tower. I think it's closed right now, but it's still pretty impressive to see. It's a little bit colder than I expected today. I think it's about five degrees. It's a little bit chilly, so I think it's time to go get some fish and chips. I think I'm going to try and hear Harry Ramsden's. Let's head in. I went for the cod fish and chips at £15.99, a mushy peas at £2.49 and a pretty big pot of tea for £2.59. The batter on the fish was really crispy and light and the fish was a decent size too. The cod on the inside was really succulent and soft and flaked away perfectly. The chips had a good crunch on the outside as well, really crisp. And the pot of tea was definitely what I needed after getting soaked by the tide earlier on. So lunch all done, I'm a little bit warmed up as well and full up. Let's go check out the rest of the promenade and piers. So as you would guess, it's a pretty quiet place here in Blackpool in the winter. A lot of the amusements and arcades are closed. There's not too many people about. And it's a pretty quiet place. Let's go check out the lifeboat station. So it looks like there's actually a couple of lifeboats in here. I think it's just the small ones, not the really big ones that you usually see. Do they even have those in Blackpool? You can actually come into this lifeboat station and check out the boats. Have a look at those.
so it looks like you've got a history of the lifeboat station and lifeboats and it starts from 1864 which is over 100 years ago we've got the tractor over there that pulls the lifeboat out you've got the helmets of the lifeboat people I've never really been inside a lifeboat station before but it's pretty interesting to check out Does anybody know what these big structures are? They look like big leaves on the end of twigs but they sway around so much in the wind Look at that one You've got the Blackpool Sea Life Centre a pretty big attraction in the summer and I think it's actually still open right now Right, I'm coming up onto the central pier I'm not sure if it's open It's not looking too good actually because I cannot see any people on it But let's have a closer look and find out Have a look at these seagulls just chilling out right in front of the beach How close can I get without it flying away? Pretty close Right, enough of looking at seagulls. Let's go see if this pier is open. It's closed. I think I'm spotting a bit of a theme here. There's only one pier left to check out. Let's go see if that's open or not. I'm kind of debating if I should even try the third one. I've already tried two, so I think may as well try the last one it kind of seems the further away you get from the Blackpool Tower area the quieter it gets and the more shops and arcades are closed this whole row of shops is closed right in front of me there's some interesting sculptures up this end of Blackpool check these out they look like big pipes sticking out of the ground So there doesn't seem to be that much that's interesting up on the promenade of this part of Blackpool <laughs> They're just hotels So let's head down towards the sea And get close to the water I don't want to get too close though because I've already got wet today Why does the tide come in so early here in the winter? I was quite looking forward to walking along the beach I'm getting pretty close to the South Pier and I have to say it's not looking too good I think it might be closed as well but let's have a close look So, is it open? I think it is Let's head in There seems to be a fence blocking the entrance so I think it might actually be closed Can I sneak in? It turns out it wasn't open after all, as the person told me to leave So is it worth visiting Blackpool in the winter? Well, not really It's a little bit cold, the piers are closed, the shops and arcades are closed too and the tide comes in really early so you can't even have a walk along the beach So it's probably best to visit in the summertime Okay, so if you like the video, click on the thumbs up icon below click on subscribe to come along for the next journey and I'll see you in the next video